I'm not the one that you've been dreaming of The dirt underneath my fingernails Some worn out shoes I never thought that I would fall for someone like you Not a single care in the whole wide world But I don't wanna run Run away from you Cause baby I am done Hiding my love You can't control who you fall for. No. When the world is asleep, the weekend. something to eat and drink and then go to Goodwill. Barbara, my name is Jason. Can I have your name? Yolanda. Yolanda, what can I get started for you? Yes. Um, may I get a grande iced white mocha with caramel drizzle in the cup extra and um, cold foam on top with extra caramel drizzle and can I get a chocolate croissant? Grande ice mocha, vanilla, cold foam, extra caramel drizzle, caramel in the cup, and a chocolate croissant. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. All right. If you want that heated up. Yes, please. All right. What else can I get for you? That'll be it. All right. It's gonna be cold. Forty-two at the window. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. But I don't wanna run, run away. friends whole nother day of when I went book shopping for me giving y'all this haul I'm sorry about that you know how life happens I had got a little under the weather so but today I am giving y'all this haul on what we got from books a million um, when we went book shopping there 
so the first thing i would like to do is again thank y'all for being a member of my channel thank y'all for clicking on this channel thank y'all for being here i really enjoy talking and being with you guys on my book shopping daily vlogs um just a little uh how would i put it not an update um a sneak peek or however you want to put it into 2024 um my vlogs will possibly change um i will not just be doing bookstore uh shopping y'all i am hot so y'all might see my hair flying in the wind a little bit <laughs> But anyway, so y'all might y'all won't be just seeing me book shopping. Um, I will be doing some, you know, like incorporating uh, my productive days within my book shopping days and my book shopping vlogs. So there will be more of me going shopping for um, things for my area because I do plan on changing my area in 2024. There will be more um, shopping of just some household things for my home and there will be more of book recommendations for you guys um, during the year of 2024 because I do a lot of book shopping and I have been reading a whole lot of really good books and I just don't want to give you guys a haul on the books that I actually buy. I would like to tell you guys about the books and recommend some of the books that I really enjoy and tell you guys how and why I chose those books and just what kind of books that I actually really like what kind of books that I consider as a five-star book and I just want to let you guys know just you know like my feelings about the books that I read because I take you guys along with me in the bookstore um but I never tell you guys about how I feel about the books I read um actually show you what books i done read for that month or anything like that so i would really like to start doing more recommendation videos for you guys uh to help you and to get more recommendations for books from you guys because what i do is i like i have a a little um to-do list type thingy I got a couple of them that i write down the books that i see on each daily vlogs that i look at like shanti like i look at her vlog and i'll pop up a picture um of one of her you know like her anyway on her vlog um i write down a lot of uh books that she reads because like she reads a ton of books y'all in the run of a week or a month and she reads some really nice books and some of the books or most all the books that she reads i never see them on anybody else's channel so it's like she reads books that other people read because she sees them on other people's channels but she also read books that she just you know hop on amazon or when she's in the bookstore she just feel like they're interesting books and y'all as y'all can see i do have all a different pair of blu-ray glasses um i love wearing these things when i'm actually always looking at the computer screen or always looking um at my cell phone or whatever because they do help me protect my eyes and i love just the different types of frames that i you know find in different stores uh that fits my actual face so enough talking let's get into this book haul so the first thing that i got from books a million i always get a planner for the year to try to keep myself on track with when i um post on instagram when my youtube videos are due um you know just things like that so i decided to go smaller this year so i got this 2024 planner for the year for my um content creation vlog keep up with her <laughs> if that is a word 
so i did get this for the 2024 year to keep up with what i am doing um because i do plan on keeping up with making shorts making instagram posts real stories um and also on TikTok because I'm really not that active on TikTok. Uh, and I would like to get to be more active on TikTok in 2024. So it's just about time for me to start saying how much I am a new YouTuber, a new vlogger, a new content creator, and like get down to business. So another book that I picked up, y'all, from Books Amelia is called Yes, No, Maybe So. It's a used book and it looks like it's a young YA romance. The cover looks very, very interesting. Um, to my understanding, just by reading the inside of the book, um, it's about two teenagers, of course. Um, they are volunteers for a state senate candidate. And both of them are kind of shy. One of them, which is the male, and his name is Jamie. Um, he's fine with being a volunteer for the state senate as long as he doesn't have to actually interact with people. Um, and the girl's name is Maya, and like she um, is like having the worst day of her life, and you know, things like that. But anyway, to make a long story short, they are volunteering together and. They actually become, you know, acquainted with each other, being that, you know, they are helping the state Senate candidate and they have to go door to door to um, get votes for the state Senate. And they actually become like, you know, friends, lovers. So I thought this was a really good book to read as a YA um, romance. And the cover of this book, and that it's a used book, the price as well, really caught my attention. It's by Tiffany Switchmit. I'm not sure how to say that name. It's called Bookish Boyfriend, A Date with Darcy. So I picked up this book. It was actually $2.50. I did not know it was that cheap, but I thought it was kind of cute. Um, to my understanding, by reading the back of this book, um this girl darcy and her family moved to a different place and um you know of course she thought that the best boyfriend would be a boy in books but when they moved to a different place she actually met a guy that she thought was um pretty much like out of a storybook and um hold on y'all and so it kind of pretty much like goes from from there so the book is kind of like pretty very simple um let me just read it to you guys because i feel like i didn't explain it actually good enough so it says boys are so much more better in books at least according to mary campbell 15 who thinks real life chivalry is dead and there be nothing more romantic than having a guy woo her like the heroes in a classic story then she her best friend eliza and her younger sister roy transfers to another school which is a prep school where all the boys look like they've stepped out of the pages of a romantic novel um, mary can hardly walk across the squad without running into someone who reminds her of romeo um so pretty much like sh all the boys that's at this little prep school kind of reminds her of um a, a character out of a book so very interested in reading that one and then y'all this book right here i have been so waiting to actually see this book in the stores i cannot say that i've actually seen this book in the store in books a million or borns and nobles but i seen it the other day when i went there and it's called the september house so i was so so happy to see this book and i don't think it really mattered to me what the price was i was going to get this book anyway because you know of course books a million has coupons and then i am a member so i get the 10 percent off and just by reading the cover of this book it's pretty much saying that like this couple they bought this house and like every september something starts to happen in this house like the wall starts bleeding um things start going on down in the basement um the 
wife which is her name is margaret i think um and the husband hal margaret was like this is my house i got it at a really really good price i'm not going anywhere so she stays in for the long haul hal he just can't take it anymore so um he just abruptly disappears and you know she hasn't heard from him in a while then her daughter which her name is what is her name Catherine she doesn't know anything about the house um she comes and that's when she learns about what happens in the house in September and actually y'all when she decides to come visit it is in September <laughs> so that's when the things start happening in the house and um at the end of the little thingy it says like uh the house has like you know something that it can't let you know out so the next book that i bought it was a very interesting cover for me it's called the bandit bookshelf of maggie banks i really like books that have african-americans on the cover and especially african-americans that look like they're stunting their own natural hair um i enjoy reading books by african americans uh because i really don't think a lot of african americans write books um and i don't think they get a lot of recognition as well because like i mean i don't know i just think a lot of people don't talk about it but this book was very interesting to me because of the cover um and by reading the back of the book uh it seems as though um it's a little small town that really does not want change and um this person that is running this bookstore they see that the bookstore is actually going down and change is needed and um the and so like uh the people in the town is not ready for that change to happen so um they're not you know like supporting uh, Maggie the way that they should and Maggie has to come up with some type of other alternative to um, run her bookstore other than letting it like go under so I'm gonna read you a little bit it says when Maggie Banks arrives in Bell River to run her best friend struggling bookstore she expects to sell bestsellers to her small town colleague but running a bookstore in a town with famously bookish history isn't easy bell rivers literary society isn't on keeping the bookstore stuck in the past and maggie is banned from selling anything written this century so when a series of mishaps suddenly tilts the bookstore toward ruin maggie will have to get creative to keep the shop afloat and in maggie's world book rules are made to be broken so there's a little sticker here i'm gonna see if i could take it off so i can read the rest of it to you guys it says to help save the store maggie starts to underground book club starts the underground book club running a series of events celebrating the books the books readers actually love but keeping the club quiet selling forbidden books and dodging the literary society is not nearly impossible especially when maggie under earths a town secret that could up in everything maggie will have to decide what's more important the books that formed a small town's history or the stories posed to change it all so i feel like that is very interesting so i would love 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 to read that one this book was 50 percent off y'all i have been waiting for this book to go on sale i got the i got holly by stephen king and i was waiting for mr mercedes to go on sale this book went on sale for 50 percent off i think i paid like 14 15 dollars for it so i did get mr mercedes by um stephen king and i have never been a stephen king book reader i love stephen king movies um at least i did that was when like pet cemetery and you know those movies was out that's when i really used to like to look at stephen king's movies but i cannot say that i've been looking at stephen king's movies lately but anyway so i did get mr mercedes by stephen king 
and I'm not really sure what this book is about um, it was really just suggested on the back of or in the cover of Holly to get Mr. Mercedes and then I just liked it the way the cover looks so I decided to get it I'm gonna just read you a little bit on the back because I don't know nothing about what this book is about it says in the pre-dawn hours in a distressed American city hundreds of unemployed men and women line up for the opening of a job fair they are tired and cold and desperate emerging from the fog invisible until it is too late a long driver plows through the crowd in a stolen Mercedes Ooh. running over the innocent biking up and charging again oh my god eight people are killed 15 are wounded the killer escapes y'all this gonna be good months later an ex-cop named bill hodges still haunted by the unsolved crime complete contemplate suicide huh oh y'all should i go on when he gets a crave letter from the perk claiming credit for the murders Hodges wakes up from his depressed and vacant retirement, fearing another, even more attack in hell bent on preventing it. Brad Hartsfield lives with his alcoholic mother in the house where he was born. He loved the feel of death under the wheels of the Mercedes, and he wants that rush again. Only Bill Hodges with a couple of erratic and miss matched allies can uh, apprehend the killer before he strikes again and they have no time to lose because brad's next mission if it succeeds will kill or main thousands y'all do i supposed to read this before i read holly i wonder let me see stephen king is the author of the more of more than 60 books all of them worldwide bestsellers his recent where it includes holly i wonder which one comes first y'all but ooh, and y'all i kind of i really like this book because it is a hardback book but it doesn't have any paper like is the the cover of it is actually on the hardback but i never read the back of the book because it is a or it was a $30 book and I was like I'm not gonna pay that much but it went on sale half off and today with you guys is the first time I'm actually reading the back of this book so oh murder that's gonna be interesting <laughs> can't wait to tell you guys about how I feel about that but I wonder if that's gonna be a five-star read we'll see um also that day I believe I went thrifting and that's when I got my bedside table, my book table. And um, when I went thrifting, uh, I, of course, I cannot go to no store without seeing a book. You know, I cannot go to any store without going to the book section. So, as I said, I went to, I went thrifting and I actually did find me a table for my book table beside my bed y'all it turned out beautiful i really love it so while i was there i found a classic to me and y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all feel that it is a classic and it is by terry mcmillan which is a very long time writer uh when i used to go to the library and everything i used to always check out a book from her and it's called waiting to exhale I don't even have to read the back of this book for y'all y'all just think about the movie i know y'all all y'all should know about waiting to exhale like i loved looking at the movie i would look at the movie over and over and over again and i don't think i ever read the book so i decided to pick up the book and it was a dollar 99 from the thrift store so guys that is all i got when i went books a million shopping and thrifting for a book table i really enjoy going to books a million I, I enjoy going to books a million i really love the selection of books that i picked 
I am so happy that I chose to get a smaller planner uh, for my content creation versus the bigger planner that I had for last year and again y'all thank y'all so much for being a subscriber to my channel I really appreciate your support my channel is so so growing and I just really really appreciate that and as of right now let me see as of right now I have 137 subscribers so I'm just growing day by day y'all and Yolanda's journaling just so I just I just love you guys so much and I just really thank you guys for subscribing to my channel I really thank you guys for just giving me the time of day clicking on my um my YouTube videos my shorts um my Instagram page um I just love you guys thank you so much again subscribe to my channel click that notification bell so that you will know every time Yolanda's journaling upload another video and again I love you guys bye